Windcraft currently has eight different tiers of items. Normal, Unique, Rare, Set, Legendary, Fabled, Mythic, and Crafted. While they may not individually be very powerful, set items feature a unique mechanic where if you wear two or more pieces of the set, you gain extra bonuses on top of what the gear would normally provide. These bonuses are unique to each different set and increase relative to the number of pieces you are wearing. In this series, I will be showcasing and analyzing every armor set in Windcraft. This is Set Spotlight. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 24 of Set Spotlight. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at the Snow Set. The Snow Set drops from mobs found within the Nessak Forest. To my knowledge, all of them can drop it, but I was unable to verify every single individual mob, so just try most of them, you should be able to get it pretty easily. The Snow Boots require level 41 and 15 intelligence to wear and give plus 380 health, plus 15 water defense, between minus 10% and minus 19% health regen, plus one mana regen, and between plus 3% and plus 13% water defense. The Snow Helmet requires level 42 and 15 agility to wear and gives plus 405 health, plus 15 air defense, between minus 10% and minus 19% health regen, between plus 3% and plus 13% air defense, and between plus 3% and plus 13% reflection. The Snow Pants require level 43, 20 agility, and 20 intelligence to wear and give plus 425 health, plus 20 water defense, plus 20 air defense, between minus 10% and minus 19% health regen, between plus 2% and plus 10% water damage, between plus 2% and plus 10% air damage, and between plus 3% and plus 13% reflection. Lastly, the Snow Tunic requires level 44, 25 agility, and 25 intelligence to wear, and gives plus 450 health, plus 25 water defense, plus 25 air defense, between minus 10% and minus 19% health regen, plus 1 mana regen, between plus 2% and plus 10% water defense, and between plus 2% and plus 10% air defense. If two pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 6% spell damage, minus 10% health regen, plus 1 mana regen, plus 8% thorns, and plus 10% reflection is applied. If three pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 14% spell damage, minus 20% health regen, plus 2 mana regen, plus 24% thorns, and plus 35% reflection is applied. And if all four pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 30% spell damage, minus 30% health regen, plus 4 mana regen, plus 70% thorns, and plus 75% reflection is applied. This set is a really cool one, providing a total of plus 6 mana regen, a decent amount of spell damage, and a ton of thorns and reflection. The set works wonderfully for people who want to go around spamming spells with one major downside, your health regen. This set provides anywhere between minus 70% and minus 106% health regen, which means your health will either barely regen or not regen at all, depending on what rolls you get. This turns you into a glass cannon, and, and without a heavy focus on increasing that health regen percentage or getting a lot of lifesteal, I wouldn't recommend this for most classes. Mage, on the other hand, thrives with this set in hand. Mana regen and spell damage allow you to spell spam, most damage you take will be dished back to your attacker, and then you can simply heal it all away with little difficulty. I highly recommend this set for mages, and suggest all other classes stay far away. 